Hey everyone, welcome back to CBO Wellness, Chill Vibes Only. My name is Allie and today we are going to be talking about what your attachment style says about the type of sex that you usually have and how, you know, acknowledging our attachment style and maybe how we've been engaging in sex can be a good indicator to us that we might want to try to change the way that we attach to people or change our style of sex to help, you know, move towards maybe a more secure attachment style. So if you're not familiar with the different attachment styles, there is a secure attachment, an anxious attachment, and an avoidant attachment. I do have a video on the attachment styles um, in more detail, so definitely check that out. But basically, if you are anxiously attached, and to be more anxious in your relationships, so you may worry that your partner doesn't love you, that they might leave you, you know, you might get more anxiety if your partner's not clearly communicating to you, uh, expectations in the relationship. So for example, if you think that you're going to talk once a day by a text and your partner thinks you're going to talk once a week by a text, um, that can create a lot of anxiety for you, a lot of unknowns. Uh, anxiously attached people though, it's not the end of the world as long as you're with someone who's secure. Often though, an anxious attached person does seek out an avoidant person and it's kind of this messy cycle. But if you're with someone who's secure and they can securely communicate to you what to expect in the relationship and vice versa, um, anxious attached partners are actually can be really wonderful partners. So just something to keep in mind, you might be with someone who's avoided, which is what's triggering a lot of your anxiety and a lot of your anxious tendencies, like, you know, triple check your phone, wondering when they're going to respond to you, calling them multiple times a day, doing all these things that might not be the most helpful for you. It, it has usually more to do with the person who you're coupled up with being that and that person being avoided than um, you not knowing how to manage your anxious tendencies. So just something to keep in mind about anxious attachment styles. Avoided attached people don't really feel comfortable opening up to their romantic partners. They don't really like being in committed relationships. They find it really difficult to depend on partners, and they can, as the name suggests, be super avoidant. You know, not very close, connected, they can be hot and cold. And to deal with being avoidant, you usually do have to go to therapy and work through that with someone. So if you do feel like that's kind of your personality, that's something I would always recommend you explore. And then lastly, a secure attached person is someone who feels comfortable sharing private thoughts and feelings with their partner. They feel comfortable in relationship. They're not scared that their partner is going to leave them. And they also put time and effort into their relationships. So how does this manifest in our sex lives? And how can our attachment style affect our sex lives? So if you are an anxious attached person, sometimes you may find yourself using sex as a tool to bond you to your partner and bring you closer, which isn't always the most helpful. So you're more likely to engage in anxiety driven and like solace sex. So using sex as an attachment behavior, which can make sex really intense, but not necessarily pleasurable. Anxious attached people actually tend to have more risk of unwanted pregnancy, STI, and pain during sex because you're using it as a tool to like build this bond and get closer with your partner. So you might be overlooking your own needs, wants, and wishes and communicating what you need to just have that bond and connection with the partner, which isn't always the best for us and something that we just want to be aware of and super cautious of. Because anxious attached people, you know, worry more about sex and what sex says about the relationship, they're much more likely to feel like if they're not having sex, that's a bad thing. And so they initiate in less pleasurable and more frequent sex that they might not actually want to be having. They relate the quality of sex with the quality of relationship. Um, so they might also be the people who are faking orgasms. <laughs> um, and obviously that's not helpful for creating pleasure in relationships. So if you find yourself, you know, faking orgasms, having sex that's outside of your boundaries, whether that be the type of sex that you're having, having painful sex, just think about your attachment style and how that might be manifesting into your sex life and how the person who you may be with could potentially be avoided and you might want to seek someone who's more secure or at least speak to a therapist or someone about your attachment style and figure out tools and techniques to not let that affect your sex life. People with an avoidant attachment style tend to have sex later on in life. They tend to not view sex as something that's very valuable. They tend to have less sex and also sex with less like coital behaviors. They might have less sex with like one partner and have sex with more frequent partners because they don't want that to build that like emotional attachment and bond with someone. So you can see there if you have like an 
anxious person with an avoidant person, sex could be something that's really not beneficial or pleasant for either party because one person's using it as an attachment behavior and the other person is trying to avoid it because they don't want to get attached. So it just gets a little bit messy and think to yourself when it comes to your sex life, you know, if you are having sex with just a lot of different people, if you feel, you know, uncomfortable after sex, maybe you don't like the like intimacy part of it, you get annoyed with the people who you have sex with more than once, uh, and you tend to want to push them away, and you might be having sex to fit more like social expectations versus actually wanting to have sex. You might have an avoidant attachment style, um, and you might want to go speak to someone about that as well. And then lastly, secure attached people have really wonderful sex lives, as you could imagine. Um, they are communicative with their partner. They often experience more pleasure during sex if you're a secure attached person because you can, you know, you're using it as a bonding experience between you and your partner. You're communicating what you like and what you don't like, and you feel safe, um, and you're not using sex as a tool. It's more as something just to enhance your relationship. Secure attached people have more positive feelings towards sex, they have more frequent sex, they have higher levels of orgasm and arousal because they have higher levels of communication, and they are better at giving and receiving consent because they are not using sex as a tool or as a way to, you know, reinforce their attachment style. And they're more likely to feel a link between sex and love and feel more attentive and in tune with their partner. So yeah, they have the healthiest and most pleasurable sex lives of all attachment styles. So if you're struggling with sex right now, I would consider thinking about what type of attachment style you have. You can do quizzes online to tell you. And if you're falling into one of the buckets of anxious or avoided, that's a really good indicator for you to go talk to someone, to work through those feelings, to figure out how to move towards a more secure attachment style or be in a relationship with someone who's secure so you can learn from them and rely on them and hopefully improve your sex life in the process. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you did, because that really helps this channel. As always, you can follow us at CVO Wellness on Instagram. We post a lot of great content there, and we'll see you for another video soon.